Okay. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Good. <laughs> You're hanging in there. I am. I am. Good. Doing. Not too bad. We had a busy day at the center. Yeah. Good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, we had um, Amherst College. There's a class on age, aging, and ageism. I spoke to them a couple of weeks ago, but then the whole class came to the senior center. And um, they talked to four different seniors. We had a really nice panel, asked good questions. Um, so that was great. Nice. Yeah, it was wicked good. Um, I'm That's excited great. about that. Yeah. Will they be coming back? Yes. So the professor is going to teach the course again in the fall. So we'll invite them back. And then um, she also put in a request. I forget the exact wording of it now, but basically um, so that they can be a part of the community service programs at Amherst College so that then we can hopefully get some more student volunteers. That's great. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Nice. So I had some technical issues. And so I'm on my iPad rather than my laptop. And I share that with you in that I'm not sure I can. I don't think I can ever see the community participants anyways. Okay. So I think um, I need to defer to you if Okay, any, I can any, keep track of that. Yeah, um, and I don't know, I'm just trying to see if I can see people, but I don't know that I can. What view do you have it on? I'm looking, let's see, no, that's not what I wanted, oops. Um, I'm in Zoom. I see four participants, but I can't see, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. here we go. Ah, here we go. All right. Making progress here. Perfect. Okay. Hi, Terry. Hi, how you doing, girls? Good. How are you? And I think, are Chad, good? are you there? Yep. Okay. Hey. Did you get my call, uh, Haley? Uh, I did get your call, but there wasn't a callback number, so I wasn't oh, sure. Oh, I thought you would look on the... Um... What do they call it? identifier or whatever? Anyway, are you interested in some large plants for the? Yes. Yeah, we would love okay. some more plants. Thank it's you. Like um, you know, three or four, five feet tall types that go Ooh, in. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, large rooms like that, and I thought they might fit in. Yeah, we could definitely. All take right. Them. Just come sometime when you're at work. Mm -hmm. Eight to five, is it? Uh, eight to four. Okay. Everybody have a good Halloween. Yeah. No one didn't do anything. No kids yeah, came no one here. Comes here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just had a handful of kids. I guess the neighborhood trick or treating, you need to live on a we're at the end of a cul-de-sac, a short uh... cul-de-sac. And I think they opted for the longer streets in our neighborhood where they could get more bang for their buck <laughs> or more treats for their bags, as it were. Probably. Did you have that Ooh. Fit Forward program yet, Haley? Yeah, that's been going on um, I think since sometime in September. Uh, the instructor takes a little bit of a break after the four week sessions, but people seem to like it. It's more high energy. Um, so there were some people. Were, hmm? How many people go? Um, I think we have about six ish right oh, now. Good. So yeah, that's good. And I heard you want us to get the um, little tag to sign in every time you go there. Yes, we are trying to push you know, more. The yeah, uh, it's helpful. Yeah, it looks better on paper too. It, does. it helps. It all helps with the numbers. Yep. It's a numbers game. Um, Got to do it. All right. So a 
Christina, I tried to promote you to a panelist. So you should get a pop up. All right, perfect. Hello there. Hey, how are you doing, Jacqueline? Uh, I am now present because of <laughs> <laughs> Christina, because my technology was not doing well by me or I wasn't doing well by it. And Jackie, I couldn't email you the minutes because it came back undeliverable. Okay, that okay. I was wondering why I didn't, yeah. But Christina called and reminded me. And though I had a lot of things going on today, I had two alarms going off and it didn't work. Oh. Hmm. So I'll have to find out what's going on with my son. My son and my grandson take care of this. But we're present. How is everybody? Doing well. Good. 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 I need we to apologize in advance. I have to leave at about 5.50 today for another, <laughs> another meeting. This didn't make it to my calendar oh, wow. until I saw the minutes. <laughs> so... Yeah. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hi, uh, Christina. It's been a long day, and I've been on Zoom a, a great deal of the day, so I'm going to keep my camera off, but I just wanted to say hello. Hello. You are a lifesaver, Christina, or I should say a meeting saver for me. <laughs> Thank you. So Jackie, you didn't get a copy of the September or the October minutes? You mean them? I got something earlier, I believe, but I don't have it up now. Good grief. <laughs> well, Dennis, some of us, <laughs> some of us are astute, some of us are sharp with technology, and some <laughs> of us are brave. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where I fit in on all that, but it sure was crazy getting on today, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it was. Yes. Wow. Yes, That's I agree. Everyone. Maybe it's something with the moon, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I'm just awesome. grateful I am on and I can see you all. Oh, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Dennis, how you doing? Hello, Dennis. Hello there. Hi, oh. Ann, how you doing? I'm sorry? Hi, Ann. How you doing? Hi. Ann's not good. Good. Uh, <laughs> I'm here. That's how I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Okay. So are we all square, Ann? We're going to leave it the way it was? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Let's call it a brain cramp on my part. <laughs> okay. A brain fart? <laughs> I said a brain cramp, but if you'd like to... <laughs> You're the secretary. <laughs> Harry, I got the minutes. I did get the minutes. Um, this okay, is Christina. Good. I always okay. get everything. Good. Okay. Right. Jackie's email came back saying that she couldn't get them. So Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Jacqueline, not Jackie. Right. Oh, Jacqueline. Sorry. Jacqueline is no longer at 780 at AOL. She's at seven. She's 755 at gmail.com. So that's the difference. And I send her um, email to Haley and other people so that um, when I look at the email, I could always tell if it was sent to the right email and as far as I can see it was sent to J Smith C870 at AOL but she's no longer there she's at 755 so perhaps I can email you Terry the new email sure sure okay. yeah that would make sense okay so we'll call to meeting to order and um, we'll do roll call 
Ann. Here. Terry. Here. Chad. Here. Karen. Here. Myla. Neva. I'm not sure how to say that. No. Christina. Here. Jacqueline. Here. Dennis. Right here. And I'm here. Okay, pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12th, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, General Law 30A, Chapter 18, this meeting of the Council on Aging is being conducted via remote participation. This meeting is also being recorded. Okay. Um, public comments. Anyone in the public is now welcome to make a comment or express their views for up to three minutes. If you wish to speak, use the raise hand icon on the lower part of your screen or dial star nine if you're on the phone. And I need to defer to Haley because I cannot see any participants. We have no one in the audience and um, I'm working with Captain Nel uh, Chief Nelson to get him on the Zoom so he can give an overview of the emergency management services. His oh. link wasn't working. Okay. All right. Should we change the order then? Mm, he <laughs> should be on in a second. I just sent him the new link. He's going to give, it had come up about warming and cooling centers and what's the town response. And so I invited uh, Chief Nelson to talk about that because that's really his area of expertise. He's the one who oversees all the emergency management responses for the town. Well, him and the town manager. Excellent. Yeah. And while we're waiting, I just want to um, thank Haley for sending us the um, director's report ahead Thanks. of time. It's really helpful seeing those um, seeing that information. So thank you. Oh, no and hopefully everybody got a chance to look at the minutes because later on we'll be approving that for um, previous meetings. I think Chad had his hand up. Yes. Uh, sort of like a uh, point of order or something like that. Um, I think this is me, let's third, third miss. So we have to fill that position. Is that that's in our bio? I just don't know how to memorize. So if someone misses three, they're they're I don't off. Know if, uh, you know, we asked the um, chair to look at all the minutes or how we would figure that out. But yeah, it's part of the. They want you to stay active in the meeting. So after you miss a certain amount, they want to fill fill that position with somebody else. Okay. Thank you, Chad. I appreciate your your expertise on the guidelines there. Uh, does so, she have to resign or do you talk, contact her to say? My, my thought is that we look it up. We, we assign somebody to look it up, which I think is three, and uh, give her a telephone call. I have no telephone. Yeah, I think, I think that is important to give her a call. Yeah. Don't, don't just kick her out, but. <laughs> right, right, right. Hold on She's one mostly second. coming from where is it, Maryland? I think she she's in Maryland anyway. I don't oh. want to hold up the meeting, but um, our, no, our I think it's important that you share that. Our president or our our staff uh, person should follow up on that. Okay, I'll check in with Haley because offhand I don't have any of her contact information. But yeah, we'll follow up and take a look at things. Yeah. Thank you. I'm guessing she's on the phone with Chief Nelson now, so. So Jackie, what's your email? Well, we have a J Smith C755 at gmail.com. Okay. And I particularly prefer not to be called Jackie and I'll explain that to you at another time. Okay, no problem. Thank you for mentioning that. You're welcome.
Why don't we move on? The first first order of business. Haley's on the phone with the chief. She's, we can move on. Let's give us to Haley and Janine. Let's give her one more minute because I would guess if it's going to be longer than that, that she would tell us to move on. But maybe I agree. It's, we should. Um, I think hopefully they're very close to. I can appreciate the technical challenges and how nerve wracking it is when you're <laughs> stressed when you try to get on and you never. Yeah, I, never I certainly had trouble getting on today. Yeah, me too. Very I, I did as well. I, <clears throat> yes, I had to sign in as a panelist. Yeah, they yeah. added a new feature though since last yeah, look week at least. I had to download something and then I was supposed <laughs> to remember a password, which. <laughs> yeah. Not. Or, which they are they kidding? Here. It was awful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so if you put a until, until Haley has uh, the chief on, then we can take care of other business. Otherwise, we'll kind of be getting later and later. And I've I'm, I'll believe if we get too late. Yeah. Let's just. Do we want to go on to number five? Go ahead. We could, although I, I do think it would be helpful if Haley could hear it, but uh, I'm just trying to just to get her. <laughs> the other directors left the meeting and let us run our meeting. She's not going to miss anything. It'll be in the minutes. She'll have a long section where she gives her report. Can we pick up something else on the agenda? Yes, all right. Let's go ahead to the ad hoc committee on emergency shelter, Ann and Chad, I don't know which one or both. Okay, we, we have a little bit of confusion in that um, we have a subcommittee that Chad and I have been on and I also did some research on emergency shelter. So, um, uh, in terms of emergency shelter, I would think that I'd rather wait for the chief's report because I think Haley invited him about that and I've done a, you know, a good deal of personal research on it. Chad and I have been discussing how broad the scope of our um, subcommittee should be and, and what methods should be used to elicit input on the perceived needs of the broadest range of, of seniors, not just the seniors that use the senior center, but a broad range of seniors in Amherst and uh, what their perceived needs are. One of the, um, you know, the problem of reaching a broad group. I think Chad has more experience than I do in that, but we've been talking about how best to do that and what kind of um, survey tools would be needed. But Chad, would you say that's as far as we got or would you like to add? Well, I, um, I, have, I, I know that the town of uh, Northampton um, has uh, gotten further than Amherst on the Resilience Center. Um, they actually have a building designed and they're in practice currently um, with people uh, in the town in a place. It's not the resilient center they're going to build, but I was able to um, tell Ann about that. This is her issue. She's interested in that. Um, I'm more on the motion uh, that was passed about, uh, you know, uh, forming a strategic plan and getting our, our yeah. stuff together and saying where we want to go over the next few years. Um, so that's that's really a different item, but. That's what I was uh, talking about, Chad, when I said we have met to discuss what kind of tools could be used to read the, the broadest range of. Well, I think probably the, um, that's a different, these are two different issues. Um, yes. The second one you're talking about now is um, there's been a survey, a national, the 
AARP uh, is conducting a nationwide survey and they do it town by town. In this area, the Regional Planning and Development Council and the town itself picked up um, a survey, um, which we um, have done, completed. Um, the town also followed that up with listening sessions, which were really um, regional planning members and um, town uh, employees talking about some of the accomplishments that, that they had made. There were small sections for listening, um, but anyway, that report will probably come out in a little while. So as most folks who have been around here know uh, for about a year, maybe 10 months, I've been talking about, we don't have a plan for our organization. We don't talk about the business of the organization. Uh, so, Chad, excuse me, I'm just gonna interrupt one sec. I'm a little confused. I thought we were, you were, you and Ian were reporting out on the emergency shelter and I feel like yep. we took a turn to another topic. Which, That's what I said. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm going to ask you to halt on that because that wasn't on the agenda and I just want to stick to our item. So, so um, that's so what I have to say on the Resilience Center. Okay, okay. It's um, being, being done in other towns um, and it would be great. I, I think uh, Jacqueline is, uh, she mentioned at our meetings her interest in, in that very topic. Um, I think, so um, perhaps in a future meeting, we should add that to the agenda to get a more thorough. Um, one, one of the, yep, I, I think with the weather forecast uh, due to climate, <clears throat> well, the, the, the regular climate here and climate changes impact on all over the place, not just in Amherst, but um, one of the things I, I think we can't put it off too long because winter is upon us. You, we, you okay. might choose to do it another time, but there are people here who would be greatly impacted by not having options. So mm -hmm. I, I did write to um, Mr. Bachman, who hasn't answered me, but I'm assuming that maybe He's asked Haley to invite the fire chief to answer some of the questions. Uh, I asked whether there were any other committees because there are many, many town committees working on this very subject. Good and, question. Um, so I didn't, I, that was more than 12 days ago. I haven't gotten an answer from him about that. And I have no way of going through all of the minutes you know, and going back to see whether any other committee has begun to work on this. It would seem in the interests of many committees, you know, those dealing with safety and health and da da da. We are particularly concerned with an older population yeah. who is most yeah. at risk if yes. of a either heat or cold climate emergency and the electricity goes out. So yes. I'm really looking for where will there be a place with a backup generator that can hold people, you know, it's one thing to say, well, you know, you can put a lot of chairs in the senior center, but the senior center doesn't have a backup generator. And um, I, we were looking at the fact that we have the privilege of being in a college town. So there are a great many buildings in the colleges that would accommodate a large number of people. Let's say they had to stay overnight and be on cots, but the town has to make some arrangement and there has to be a study as to how people would be notified. How would they get there? It's a very complicated issue. And I would think the fire chief would be part of it, so I was going to hold that until we heard from him, but uh, that's as far as we've gotten. And Jackie, if you'd like to join us in these conversations and investigation, we'd love to have another brain. I Jackie. think 
I think not only should the fire chief, but public health, because we are in a situation like I've never been in before, the COVID and the cough, um, the flu or whatever it is that's going around. So how do we do both with an elderly population mm -hmm. and maximize, maxima, maximize both their health and their safety? Haley, do you have any update? From um, the we're having some technical difficulties. I tried um, doing a couple of different things with Tim on the phone. He's calling um, our head of IT to see if they can kind of pinpoint what the issue is. So hopefully he will be joining us soon. Otherwise, we're going to have to reschedule. Um, okay. But I, I, yeah, I had, um, I actually reached out to him independent of hearing from Paul because um, you know, typically emergency management responses are coordinated by the, the fire chiefs in a town. So I thought it'd be really important to have him come. And, you know, he's got, a, he's a fountain of knowledge. Um, and I know that there, there are some things in the town that they have already established uh, certain protocols. So I think he can really speak to that in more depth, either hopefully okay. at this meeting or in the future. So may I ask, yeah. did Paul Bachelman get in touch with you suggesting that you um, uh, contact the fire chief about this? No, I no, I did that on my own. I think it's very odd that we have a town manager who who doesn't have enough of a staff to hand an email yeah. like mm. that from a, an inquiry of the council as to who else might be working on this that he doesn't have a staff that he could just say, would you yeah. answer that mm -hmm. or, or get in touch with the fire chief to answer it? So I was just curious as to whether he had contacted you asking you to invite the fire chief. Uh, well, I mean, I can only imagine how many emails he must get in a day. And you know that that's the sort of thing where he wouldn't necessarily need to tell me that. You know, I would know to do it. Uh, um, yeah. I, that's but, that really wasn't my point. And no, I know, I know yeah, that, but I hear, I, I hear you. I hear you. But I think it's a very important point. Yeah, Some yeah. other, um, you know, you delegate looking into that to someone, and it's yeah. been yeah, it's been more than ten days, and that's that's not adequate. I yeah. just want to go on the record saying that is not adequate. Yeah, no. I wonder. Yeah. Um, in the interest of time, if we can jump to your report, Haley, and then yes. why don't we do that? Chief is able to join us. Perhaps we can, you know, plug him in right away. But um, yes, and I he might call me, so I might have to mute myself. But I'll go. Um, I'll let you know before I do. So okay. I I pulled some numbers, and if there are other data points that people are wondering about, I'm happy to see if we can generate another report in my senior center. Um, but some of the statistics that I have are we, we logged 46 hours of volunteer time this month. And I say logged because it's likely that, you know, as we try to get all of our volunteers to sign in, we, we've probably missed some hours. So I think we've actually done more than the 46, um, but that's what we have um, for certain in our database. So I've um, I'm working with Julia on having all the volunteers sign in when they come to the senior center so that we can start getting a more accurate look at how much uh, volunteer time people are spending with us. We had a check-in count of 712. Again, in reality, these numbers are probably higher than what's represented in our software. Not everyone signs in, um, but 712, I think that's down slightly from prior months, um, we're averaging about 36 check-ins a day, um, 564 people. Uh, and then if you look at the duplicated number, it was 3,500. Um, we did 275 meals. That's a combined home delivered meals and grab and go meals. Uh, so we, we are very active and you have a question, Terry. Yes, is this 46 hours a week or for the month? For the month. So all these numbers are for the month of October. Okay, great, thank you. Yep. Um, you know, and again, if there's other things people are wondering about, what does a, an average month look like for us? I'm happy to get, you know, other other data points. Um, I do want to talk again about the, the Can't Remember Cafe, right? So we're having a little bit of fun with the name instead of calling it a memory cafe. 
And for anyone who's not familiar, the, the concept of a memory cafe is to offer respite for a caregiver and socialization for an individual who's living with some mild dementia symptoms. Uh, but really they're open to anyone. Um, you know, where we wouldn't turn somebody away if they came and they didn't have dementia. Um, we launch on Wednesday, November 30th. Our cafe runs from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Um, the first hour of which is kind of an open coffee and conversation hour. So we have pastry, we have coffee. Um, we're just kind of having our, our folks mingle and get to know one another. And then from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., we do a rotating group activity. So on the 30th, we have an Amherst College uh, student musical group called Healing Hearts with Harmony. They'll be our um, opening act. And then we have other... Um, I have some guest speakers coming in. We'll do some different types of activities. Um, we'll do a special holiday themed memory cafe. So we're really trying, I'm really trying to push um, this to people in the community um, as a way to have folks just get engaged with us a little bit more. Uh, the have paired, you, mm -hmm. that's sorry. okay. Have you, I'm just curious, since the newsletter just went out, have you heard from people? Have, has I've, anybody? <sighs> kind of emailed or called or asked about um, it? I haven't gotten any emails, but I have been, um, I personally phoned a few people and said, hey, this is going on, would you come? And one person told me that she would move her doctor's appointment so she could make sure that she gets there. Uh, so I was really happy to hear that because I wanted her there. Um, so I think what I've been finding is that it, it's not sufficient for someone to just read about it or see it online. People, if we get better attendance when we actually call people. And that mm -hmm. takes a lot of time. Folks might stay on the phone for 20, 30 minutes, but that's really been the best way to get uh, attendees. And, and you have a question. No, it's not a question. It's oh. a suggestion. Mm -hmm. um, if you reach out to the gerontologist in the area and some of the, uh, uh, some of the doctors, the PCPs, and they put it on there, my PCP communicates Mm -hmm. with her patients on a website as to what might be interesting or good for them. You might reach out to the medical community and tell them it's available so that they could tell interested patients. It's a, another way of reaching people. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that, um, yeah, that'll be great. Um, with or their in the Alzheimer's Association. Yes, I did mention it because we did a uh, dementia training. Um, so I had mentioned it to them. And then there will be a press release, um, not next week, but the week after, and it should be going up on some other Facebook pages, um, ours included. So yeah, we should have a pretty good turnout. And it's the kind of thing that we can build over time. It's also a really attractive program for volunteers. So when we're talking about how do we get people engaged at the center, this is a, an easy sell as it were. Um, it's the kind of program that people can sponsor and support financially too. So it's a, I think it'll be a really, not only will it be good for the community, good for the participants, but it'll be good for the center. Um, for the paratransit update. So it took a lot of paperwork, a lot of back and forth, but we have the plates for the van. Um, we have a group of uh, the volunteer and outreach coordinator, Julia, is taking two volunteers down to um, Springfield, I think on the 22nd of November to pick up the van. The van will live at DBW until we have a driver in place, um, but that, you know, ho hopefully in a month or two, being optimistic, we can have a, the position filled and then we can start to offer uh, medical appointment rides and rides to the senior center. So I'm very happy have, about that. You have people in mind for that position? Um, no, we'll we'll likely have to host it up on um, uh, you know on the on the town website, and we'll we'll do a, a push. But um, you know, I hope that it the way that we'll probably hire it is like a part time twenty hour week, and you know that a lot of people like the flexibility of that. Yeah, Terry. yeah. I know gonna... somebody I think might. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. So tell them, um, or you can let me know who they are, and mm -hmm. I'll give them the application when it's available. Okay. Uh, Hi, Jerry. Yeah. How are you going to, who's going to be actually taking the phone calls of what, who needs a ride to and where? 
et cetera. Mm -hmm. So that's going to fall under the admin assistant. So I will have Al scheduling rides. I'm looking at a couple of different software systems because I've talked to some senior centers and they they don't like my senior center for ride booking. I guess it's not really um, not really an easy to use program for that. So I'm looking at a couple other software systems. Um, but I want I want staff to be doing it instead of volunteers, so there's more consistency. And the idea is that people could could call in the same day or the day before and get a ride. I would talk to the Northampton Senior Center, even though that's not up and running anymore like it was when I was the volunteer. They would have mm -hmm. a good idea to probably give you some help. For the implementation of the program? Or just, you know, how do you call, who do you call, and all that kind of stuff. Oh, it's sure. Like yeah, I can, uh, I can definitely chat with them. I have experience um, operating two paratransit vans from Burnerson and Northfield. So I have a pretty good sense of what I want. Um, but you know, it'd be good to get their perspective because they're a bigger city. Right. Okay. And Chad. I have all the confidence in the world in you. Um, Thank you. What's going to happen with the um, old van one and number two? Will this um, used PVTA bus be able to fit in the underground garage? Um. Without having the footage memorized, I can't say for sure, but I am looking into getting handicap plates for that van. And if we have handicap plates, we could park underneath the awning that's outside of the health department. Um, and then your first question, what was your first question again? What's going on with the old van? Uh, so we had the 15 seater or the minivans. It's like a, it's like a, um... It's a golden um, Dodge Caravan with uh, our sign on the side of it. Yes, so white. we do, we have a gold and a white van. We will still be using those. Those um, we use for a myriad of, of things. Um, home delivered meals, volunteers might take those vans out. Uh, we might go pick up supplies. This van will be used for transit because it has a lift. So we can accommodate walkers and wheelchairs um, where we can't take people with mobility impairments on the other vans. Um, were there any other questions? Okay, um, so tying into the paratransit van, I applied for the community development block grant. I sent in that application last week on the 4th. Um, I requested $43,900 from the town, which will fund two part-time drivers. Um, it'll fund some fuel costs for the van and then outreach materials because we want to make sure we can publicize this information and get it out into the community. Um, we're calling this program the Silver Shuttle and it would offer free medical appointment rides to seniors, uh, people over the age of 60 using the van that we acquired from the PVTA. So I'm, I'm hopeful, I am cautiously optimistic that our grant will go through. Uh, there were, there's a number of community needs that were prioritized in the grant and two of those were supportive services for seniors and transportation programs. So we, we hit two of the marks. Um, so again, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic about getting those funds. Yes, Anne. Just a question, how far, if you're taking seniors to medical appointments, mm -hmm. how far out of Amherst can the van reasonably go to do that? It's really going to de depend on the, what rides are being offered at that time, right? So it will obviously concentrate within the sphere of Amherst and Northampton. Um, if we have the capacity to take somebody to say Springfield, we'll certainly try to do that, but we can't guarantee those kind of long trips because say if we have two people with appointments on the same day and one person's in Springfield and one person's in Amherst and a third person calls and they need a ride, you know, we have to prioritize our resources to get the most value into the community. So I would say to you, you know, we'll, we'll if we can do it, we will, but this is a free service and we're, we're gonna have to just do the best we can and it'll, you know, it'll be new for a while. At some point in time, I, I'd like to add um, from experience, the um, PVTA van, van does not go up to Greenfield with elders. 
And mm-hmm. that's a consideration. It will go to Springfield, um, Long Meadow, East Long Meadow, uh, but it, it doesn't go to Greenfield. So that's a consideration to keep in mind. Yeah, so that's, t- that's Tim so- is finally joining us. He figured out <laughs> what was wrong. You want to? I'll tell. I'll tell, tell you what. Uh, what? What was wrong? It was it like, us? I, yeah. Yeah. It was. Hmm. Uh, in, okay. in as an essence, it, it was was the town. I never never had a life a license. They never gave 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 me a life, uh, license. Uh, so I had to go go through IT for them to set set it up, and then I had to set set up the account, and then I had to get a pa- pa- password. Uh, which I never had one, and I never need, needed one until now. So. Anyway, so that's what happened. Well, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Not a problem. It's one of these things where the internet saves us all so much time. It truly does. Um, so we are all eagerly awaiting to hear from you, Tim. We are so excited to learn about our emergency oh, management please. options. <laughs> oh, please. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, really, it's, it's I mean, you know, I did. Uh, what I what I was told and and, and what what I what I want want to hear is just what your concerns concerns are. I mean, and that kind of kind of help help direct direct as I uh, I understand that, that you had had some uh, questions and concerns or just or things that, that you just just weren't 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 sure 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 about. I mean, in gen, general, I, as I as, as I understand stand, stand it, you know, some, some folks were concerned about what what happens happens if we have some type type of catastrophe, and I guess that depends on what what the the, the incident is. I mean, uh, I don't think we're going to get get hit hit by by a meteor, you know, and, or anything like 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 that. I don't don't think think it's going to be uh, Armageddon. I mean, our, the thing the things that we think 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 about here are Gen, gen, generally weather related, related, and that's and that's going to be uh, snow, wind, that 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 type type of thing. That that's going to have an effect gen, generally on 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 power, you know, and, and losing power. That that's 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 those are the things that we that we tend 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 to 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 tend to expect. Um, and there's there's there are some some things some preventative things that 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 are on that kind kind of on on go 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 going with that. I think you've seen down through the last last few years, um, Eversource has contracted with con- con- com- companies to cut cut back tree trees and tree well tree tree limbs from power lines. Uh, that's an uh, they they learned or power 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 companies learned learned a lot from the. Uh, storm of uh fall of 2011 you know we still had a lot a lot of leaves on the trees but the biggest thing was that the limbs would extend through the wire wire wires through the uh the lines and what they've done is uh concerted the effort to trim trim those back so that in in the event of the heavy rain wind snow those limbs don't come 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 down down to down a power, 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 power line. So that that that's been a great great help, and that's reduced the, um, the number of uh, power out out outages that that we've had in, in the last 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 few years due to, due to storms. You're still still going to have thing things that, that break tran- transformers and that type type of thing. But but uh, but you know but in general what we look at and expect are storm related uh, is, issues. So, but feel feel free to ask me anything. Almost. <laughs> almost. Yeah, I would I would like to ask something. Yes, ma'am. Um, well, it's not a question as much as it is. Um, you said that we are generally more concerned with wind and you know rain mm-hmm. and and snow. One, and snow. Yes. Mm-hmm. But one of the things that I feel needs to be taken into consideration uh, is flooding because it's happening everywhere. We're in a valley and there's lots of water and this Mm -hmm. happened back when, in the thirties. And so, you know, even though it's not an immediate concern, Mm -hmm. some things that have never happened that generally don't happen in New England, like mm-hmm. a tornado, mm-hmm. they do happen. 
and sure. a flood a flood could happen and so the thing is that what are the plans in case there would be flooding for the seniors in this town we have to look at those things and not sure. assume that it's not going to happen it's not it's not that you assume something won't have happen it's you have to have to, you have to look at what what has the high, highest potential and flood flooding is low on is low on 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 the list. You you can have some low localized flood flood flooding of creeks and streams and all that, but not but those aren't going going to flood flood to the point where it's going to cause uh, you know uh, the the damage that you saw say in uh, Kentucky uh, earlier this, this 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 year. We're not what would you say in a a flood flood plain a, a dangerous flood flood plain per per se and you talk talk about bab back in, in the <laughs> 30s well that's that's where 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 they came up came up came up with flood 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 control me measures that you see along the Connecticut Connecticut river river with dikes and that type 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 of thing but here here in town drain drainage is good we don't we don't have the threat of, of a large, large river river that's right in, that 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 run 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 through town sure we have the mill 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 river we have some some creeks and that type of thing but there there you know it, it would be the as i as i see it, as i as i would call it, the end of the, the end of the end of the end of the if 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 those those were to flood and and look and make it and and have have us look again look 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 like Kentucky did earlier this this year, you know down 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 downstream down down the road 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 from us close, closer to to the Connecticut River, yeah sure that you know you, you can have 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 some flood flood flooding there but it's not going to reach us here we again. Local, 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 localized flood, flood flooding here, 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 here in town, where you're going to get your baby basement flood, 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 flood out, or uh, from a, from you know, a, if if you live close, close to, to 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 a stream, stream or or, or one or one of the small small river rivers. Okay, sure, but it's but it's going to be low, low localized, and it's not going to be long, long, long lasting. We've had, I mean, we've had. Uh, since I've been here, we've had was it Hurricane Irene? Uh, yeah, I forget the, the other one that that came came through, and by by the time it got to us, it was more of a, tro a tropical storm, which in in itself can be a lot lot worse because you just get a lot of rain day after day after day, and he, even with that. We didn't sustain any kind, kind of, kind of, kind, kind of uh, dangerous, dangerous flood, flooding here, in Green Greenfield. Yes, but they, but they were right on. They're, they're right, right on, a, on, a, on a river. But we, we did, didn't, and we're lucky like, like, like that. We're, we're at, a, at an elevation where it's not really going. A river is not. The Connecticut is not, is not going, going, going to, to affect us. Well, I, I, I think I think it's good that we think about the the masses of the people, the population. But when we look at the elderly population, um, I think it's important to to think uh, in advance of it uh, being something that would totally immobilize the masses. I think we we look specifically or particularly at that population? What sure. happens if they're in that predicament? Well, I guess, again, I, I would say it, it would be quite low, 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 localized. You're not going to have ma ma masses of folks affected by that. And that's something that we, we, that we, we would tend to, tend to, tend, tend to ha handle on, on our own or with, with mutual aid, but you know, you 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 know, again, low low, it it would be low low localized, and we we would take steps steps to either uh, protect protect some 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 someone in place or right. remove remove them from 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 the situation, whatever whatever it takes, we'll we'll, we'll do do it. So, but I I for flood flooding, I just don't see the and 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 our our his, his history bear bears it out. 
you know, I don't see masses of folks being affected by a flood, flood flooding event. I'm more concerned about a a, a large snow 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 event, a cold coal, a cold cold snap, a power pump power pump power outage. Those are the things that, that are that are pro, 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 pro priorities, and we we've seen and we've got got the data the data to show that those are the things that tend to hit 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 us here. And and that's and that's uh, New New England. That's uh, that's that, that's what 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 we deal deal with here. Tim, could you address that? Because that has been a concern, and particularly if there was an outage at the Bang Center, right, which mm -hmm. is with senior centers located and where food is distributed. Mm -hmm. So what what would happen in the event that there was a, I'm gonna say a long-term outage or um, you know the the bangs wasn't functional. What then the, then we move we move then we you know um I all I always get it mixed mixed up. We got we've got a we've got a gen, gen, emergency generator at the at town town hall and we don't at the banks. I'll, I'll have to con confirm, confirm, confirm from that because we we ended up bring bringing a lot a lot of emergency generated well for 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 purchasing them after the October October 2011 storm because we we found found out that 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 was was a weak a weak point in the town. But for that, but for the banks, if uh, we what we 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 would do is just shift. We could we can shift we can shift 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 the. Uh, Responsibilities or duties or things that go on on there, and spread 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 it out through town in in places that have uh, gen, uh, gen, gen, gen generators or have power, power power. We can do do that. I mean, one of the, one of our prime prime locations is the um, is is the high the high the high high the high high school. It's got that back backup power power, and it's got the room. It's got the facilities that we we we, we can use. We found that. Especially uh, one one of the things we we found is during during the the height of, of the pan, pan, pandemic, we were able to use use that as a you use the schools as a va, 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 vaccination site, and we had had to you know we and we found that we 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 can bring in a lot of a lot of people and equipment and may may make make it work. So we could do the same in in any event of a a long, long term power, power, power outage and there's all kinds of other other things that we we, we can do a long long term you can you can bring 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 in poor poor portable gen, gen generators and I, and I'm not talking talk, talking about the ones you know the little Honda ones that are you know that that you can run or you know pull around on, on your own I'm talking about large truck size you know, gen, gen, generators that are in essence poor poor or portable and we, you know, the state, the state is says is set up to do, to do, to, to do, to do that. And if we felt that we we're in, that we we're that we're in that, that, that uh, degree, degree of harm, we do, we, we, we'd uh, bring, we have, 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 have one brought, brought in for critical edit for any critical need. One of the, the other things is uh, we, we work, work well with uh, uh, Eversource. Uh, we work, work with their, their, very well with them in the last, Six or six, seven years, the relationship has improved, and with that, we've got really good community communication. So we know what what's kind of coming down, 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 down the pike. They reach out if if they're seeing seeing trends and that that might affect us. The other piece of this is that every every year we up update a list of critical facilities that are at the top top of our prior 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 priority list to be uh uh to have have power power re, re, restored to 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 them and they're really good about 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 about, about taking taking care care of those those issues so though those are things kind of a couple of things that that, that we've done done up front to prepare for the if the if and when okay one of one of our concerns Mm -hmm. has been that the an elderly population um, tends to be more sensitive to extremes of heat and cold. Yep. Uh, our weather patterns are yep. really changing. Yep. And the elderly oh, population sure. also it is more dependent sometime on electricity for things like CPAP machines or, sure. or oxygen sure. and things like that. Sure. So 
our concern was, is there a public building now with a backup generator that somehow or other we've got to tell our population should something happen, it's kind of too late to try to reach them on the phone or otherwise. People really need yeah. to know yeah. where to go yeah. when there is a need. Yeah. And so as a council, we're concerned with um, one, where is, are we prepared? And two, how do we let people know in advance where they can go? And three, there are many people who can't get there on their own. So can we make a plan that is comprehensive enough to um, sort of anticipate, should there be a power outage during heat or cold, let's say, which you know we're all facing these climate sure. emergencies now, um, can, can we be helpful in some way to prepare in advance for an elderly population to have the information and what do we do to get them to the place that might be a life-saving life place for them. Sure. Right. Well, I'll, ask, I'll, ask, I'll ask you all this for, first off. How many of you have signed, signed up for the emergency alerts system that we have, have, we have, we have in town? I see two. I have no phone. What, what do you use to communi communicate? Yeah, three, actually, yeah. That's I, use email, well, I, I use email. I've done well. That. It 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 go it goes the phone either either the email whatever whatever you you choose you choose you choose choose for 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 it to tran 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 transmit to. Cool. We 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 push that again. Uh, we put push that so 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 hard. But folks tend not to pay attention attend, attention to that unless something something bad bad has happened. Then that we'll 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 see spikes. In in our sign 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 up. So I I even say first that's that's one one thing 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 to do. You go right right to the to the town town the town town web web website and it's right it's right there. Sign up for for that. That's how we can that's 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 one of our best best ways to get the message out. And we we can fo focus as we can, we can direct you know uh, you know to serve to serve certain groups. Certain area, areas of town, you know, we, we we can direct direct our messages specific for that, for for that for that, you know, to, to get to give give folks folks folk a warning. So that so that's one. I mean, and you asked you asked about how would would we tra transport folks if we needed to eva evacuate? We we have we have agreements with PVTA. We we've used them in the past for. Uh, we've we've had uh, times where we had to had, had to evacuate folks because because of, because of a fire fire we had to move 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 folks from point A to point B. We we have we have a uh, as, as as I said an agreement with 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 that well, PVTA you 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 mass trans 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 transit to get get folks and move move and move and move them to to a safe safe place. Um, I forgot your third question. <laughs> As for uh, what was, uh, the well, first thing, first thing you asked you asked you asked, right. you asked me about identification and tra transportation, communication, and then the concern also is. But I'm glad to know that the high school, something as big as the high school, has a backup mm. generator. Yeah. Do we know how many people that might hold? during the day and how many people it could hold if they had to be on cots overnight i couldn't i can't tell tell i can't tell tell tell, tell you that that no, uh, number i don't 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 know it's 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 a lot of a lot of big people the other piece and the other piece when i remember remember i i, I talked talked about mutual aid one one of the, the other thing, things that, that that we have is an agree, agreement with you you, you UMass to use the Mullins, uh, which has backup power, and in fact we had plans uh, in in the event of a you know if if the uh, pan, pandemic had really really gone gone nuts here, 
we had we have we have a, a, a stock stop pile of cots and that types and all those types of things to put in the mullins to you to use that 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 is part of the plan so there's a lot go 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 going on out 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 there but a lot of a lot of it too is you know is is to you know uh take 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 care of 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 your your yourself self as well cuz gen, gen, generally if there's a if, if there's a big emergency we are going to be tied up for the first first few few hour, uh, hours with folks that are in dire need we're going to have and and they and they are going to be our pro, 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 pro priority you know uh like, like you know we want to make, make sure that that those those folks that are the most vulnerable Aren't 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 harmed or aren't harmed in, in, in any further than they all they all they all they all already are, and the odd the odd, odds are if we're if we're go 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 going through some big big emergency, our surround 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 surrounding area is at is, 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 is suffering the effects at the same same time. I'm talk, talking a big big storm. So they're they're all we're, you know even our mutual aid AA par, par partners. May not be be able to come to help help us because they're de dealing with 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 their own issues, and that's just 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 the way way it is. So for a time, you're you're going to be on your own for the for, first few 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 hours. All right. So one one of the things is, um, I believe we 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 had a head up on 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 our on the on the web on the town web, web website, but we and it's, and if it's not not there, I'll make sure it goes back. Is that how to how do you create create an emergency emergency kit kit Kid, kid for for your home and i'm talking you know flash flash flashlights bad, bad batteries uh maybe some um uh water uh blank blank blankets that type of thing for the winter the winter time if you lose power 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 for x amount of time and most most of the time you're safer to stay in your own your own your own your own home we we we, we call 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 it protect detect in place yeah, you're both you're you're generally going to be safe, safer in your own your own home and more com comfortable in your own own home might might be a little cool for 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 a little while but nothing but not not to the extent that you're going to be 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 harmed you're safer in your own home unless the wall the walls have come 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 in or the seals the seal or the roof has come come down but you're safe, 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 safer there, and that in itself allows us to help those folks that are in dire need. Yes, Tim. Some of these folks in need are the ones who can't create their own safety. I understand where you're speaking from, um, uh, from from an economical perspective, from one angle, but. Um, I think it's important to also for the town to put itself in the place of of people who cannot, who you know, cannot cannot be that dismissive. Uh, with a social work background. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who's 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 being d d d dismissive? Well, you may not mean to be dismissive, but the tone of the conversation. He is you know, tough, you know. If you can't, if you can't take care of your own self, and what I'm, what I'm, what I'm saying, what, I, what I'm saying is, excuse me, I, I just want to finish. I just want to finish. Yes, ma'am. And I don't mean to, I don't mean to be insulting, but as a seventy-four-year-old woman, uh, and as one who pretty much lives uh, by myself, thinking about that just makes me shudder. I have to admit, and I know that you don't mean any harm. I know in my heart, I believe you don't mean any harm. But I, 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 I've been in I've been in towns that had much much weaker budgets, who had the compassion um, from an Appalachian community to urban communities, and there's somehow something that. There, there's a, a deep involvement and a sense of commitment to the elders. Well, that's what we, we have. I've dedicated my career to taking care of people, period. That's what we do do here. But there's also, you've got to deal with, with the reality of, of this is, is, is situation. 
we are going to take care of those that need need help most and we're going to take care of them first my my point is you might be one one, one of those, those pe people which means that we are going to take care of you first part part of this too is that we need to know who the, who those those fo folks are we don't have a, you know we we have um we we have a repository in our dis 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 dispatch that when an and and an address come comes comes up if they if we found some something where some some someone has mobility ish issues or um, there's uh, access issues or something like that then we it it comes up and 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 we're aware aware of that we don't have a a good good way to gag 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 gather the that that data 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 right right now. It's some some something that I've kicked 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 kick, kicked around for a while. How do you know? And through who is, is it? Through the health health department? Is it through the county council on aging to find those though you know to get to get the data the data on folks and put it some some somewhere where we 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 can access, access it and just and just be be aware of folks who may be part part, part of a threatened community community that's something that that we 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 can work 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 on but the reality is is that to some to agree some folks who have the ability are going to are, the, are going to be on their own for a while. We can't be ev, 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 everywhere. We are going to try. We're going to try like like try to try like hell, but to but you know in 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 a widespread uh, emer, emergency, we have to prior, 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 prioritize. Most folks are going to be on their own for a short short while well, relative to the typically short 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 while. Okay. But I I take I take I take an issue with 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 the state 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 statement that this is the, the dismissive. This is real. This is the this is idea of dealing reality realities. And some sometimes those those aren't they are they aren't that nice. Okay. But we do the best we can for the most for the most 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 folk the most people. That is. That is a safe, for us to say say sacred trust, all right. But I I I will not accept that we are that that, that we are the least bit to dismissive or or don't care enough about certain part part parts of the population. We care about every, everybody. We do the best we can for as many as many folks folks as we can. And so, but you know, and again, it's uh, communication. We need to know who who those folks fo folks are who may 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 be threat to threat, who may have is issues that 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 we don't know 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 about that could affect affect them in the event of 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 of, 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 of an emergency. So, yes, yeah, yes, ma'am. Christina, do you want to go first? <laughs> yeah, I really I wanted to um just minutes ago, Mr. Tim Nelson, I went and I Googled sign up for the civic alert. Yep. And I am telling you that I am no um I am not illiterate when it comes to technology. Mm -hmm. And just to find that link. Mm -hmm. It was holy hell. I'm sorry that I have to use that language. Well, so, that's well, that's well, that's good for me to know. If there, if there, if there's an issue, an issue with it, and it, and it's not easy, 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 easy to act to act, act access, I can talk, 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 but, talk but to, to our, I, our IT folks. That's so. what I'm trying to do. So just let me finish for a minute. Okay. Is, okay. There's no accusation here. There's no, no, just, no. I know that. I know that. No, yeah, there's just that. looking at ways to improve things. Absolutely. For example, as we approach the winter, and as mm -hmm. we do, that that alert needs to be, in my view on the website where we can find it. It's buried in different links. And if it needs okay. to be where we can immediately access it because if I can't do it mm -hmm. within a reasonable amount of time, I know that the people that are, uh, lit, you know, computer 
digital technology challenge are not going to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. So no, that I mean, and that what well, I get what I what I like what I like to say all all all, all time around around here is if I don't know, know it, I can't fix it. So oh, absolutely. So this absolutely. so this is good. I mean, this is good. I I didn't know know there there was 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 an issue. So we that and that's something that we we can fix like that. And I can also put it on the senior center page too. Right. So we can, right. We can certainly put it up there as well to reiterate that. And I and I and I would reach out to to, to all 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 uh, your your co cohorts to, to let to tell tell them and in and encourage them to sign up for 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 for, for the alerts. The more the better, the better. In the in the, you know, there's no there's no no such thing in this in this case is too much information. Um, the other thing, Mr. Nelson, is there are a lot of excellent links with things that tell us what to do in case there's an outage or everything. Again, yep. on a website, when things are buried, buried deep, people cannot find them, especially right. individuals that have problems with their eyes, problems with their sure. hearing, problems with you have to put it where the elderly can find it. And the senior center can, as Ooh, we approach me. the winner, also put it, this is the link, this is what you do if there's an emergency and the lights go out. It's all there, but sure. I have to dig. You have, really to, you have to dig, you have to dig. Okay, and you, should, and you shouldn't have to, have to dig. It should, should be since, since, since it's simple to, act, 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 to access, sure. So... I, I'm truly very relieved to know that the high school and the Mullen Center, that you have an arrangement with the Mullen Center, that they have a backup generator. Um, it, it makes me feel that indeed we're prepared. The mm -hmm. one piece that we don't have is this communication piece. It's mm -hmm. not only, and it, a, right. yeah has to be in advance, like kind of everybody knows. And so I think because what I do is communication, I think that we could be, at least I might be helpful to you in finding ways that, a, a variety of ways to communicate to people that you've got their back. Because clearly, and that's you didn't know until you spoke tonight, that we had that arrangement. So I think everybody has to know that we have a department yeah. that's got their back. Yeah, and I and I guess I, I need need to depend on you to get to get the word word out. I mean, well, communication. Let me back back up. Communication is 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 two. Yeah. It's got to be two two ways. All right. So again, as I know, as I said, if I don't know it, I I can't can't fix it. But also 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 I need I need you know I I need help and assist assistant to under, under uh, understand the best way to communicate to what whatever population we have 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 there what is the best the best way to get to get the point 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 across points across you know that that type of thing that is that okay yeah you're gonna yes, get, get drafted, yes. drafted. Have, okay one, one more thing that i yes, yes ma'am wasn't really Part of, I mean, I, I was the one who brought up the business of a resilience center and heating mm -hmm. and cooling. But as long as we've got you and got your attention, something else came to me. And that was, I've had to call 911 a couple of times in the past couple of years. Sure. And because I've had to call them for my husband, but because mm -hmm. I'm ambulatory and mm -hmm. was able to get to the front door and unlock it. Okay. Your guys were able to come in and they were wonderful and they life saving okay. and great. But it occurred to me that if I were alone and couldn't get to the door to unlock it. Yes. Uh, so I happen to be in the wonderful position of being able to afford to go out and buy a lock that's a push button number lock yep. and yep. have and hire a locksmith to install it. I'm thinking of all of the people who haven't thought, well, I've never had an emergency before, 
but I do remember my mother-in-law having four different doors to her house all <laughs> locked. Of course. <laughs> all of which one should we break down to get to her? She's lying <laughs> on the floor with a broken hip. What yep. door did we break down? So that's a, another thing, communication thing that maybe we need to get out there and tell well, people, hey, I are you prepared? That. Yeah, I know. Well, we're, you know, the hail, 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 and I are chomp, chomping at the bit, bit here know. to address, address, address that. So, hails, go, go. We have ahead. a program. We do. We have a we program. Have a program. We, we have assault council, which is seniors yep. and law enforcement together, and yep. one of the programs they offer is a lockbox. So you can get a Absolutely. free lockbox installed on your door. So when a, a firefighter or a police officer shows yep. up, they have a code. They do not have to break down your door. They can unlock it. Did I do yeah. good, Tim? Yeah, you did. Right. And, and what, you did what very we, well. We, we, Thank we you. Work, we work with, with the. Uh, it's it's work, we're working with the uh, Hampshire County County Sheriff's County Sheriff's Sheriff, Sheriff, Sheriff Department, Department. In fact, the guy, the, uh, one of one of the big big guys is Dave 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 Fenton, 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 Fenton. Great great guy. But that's one of those big things. You put you put your keys in in that lock lock box. We have we're the only the only ones that have have the code, and bang, we're we're in bang, and not a, not a, not not an issue. But that's one of those things we need to get get to get out get out in in the world get to get to get that word word out. How many people? Mm -hmm. How many residents of Amherst have signed up for that? A ton. Oh. A yeah. ton have, but we still, but there are still more. As you know, you mm -hmm. you you didn't you you weren't aware where where the pro pro program. There are still yeah. more more out out there that that aren't. And I guess that kind of goes back to what I had said about, you know, we we need to know from you what is the best way, the most efficient and effective way to get the word out to your compatriots. How did how do we get to get that out? Ooh, and if you don't know, we also install the numbers. Yep. Have you ever seen those uh, metal yes. holes? Yep. We, they, we do, we do, do that, that, that as well. Yes, I, I do know about that. I, my experience is that well, people can hear about a program like that and they don't, they aren't really relating their need to it. One really has to start with what if you were in your, you know, the, the, the TV ads, I've fallen and I can't get up. Everybody knows those mm -hmm. ads. Yep. Um, we perhaps need to think about using, you know, the public service announcements and things of that sort, making something a little bit dramatic. I've fallen and I can't get up and mm -hmm. I've called. 911 and they can't get in you know oh, we'll we'll get, get, get no no in. but that, my point <laughs> is my point is not that you will or won't but in terms of getting people interested in the fact that you have a program right. and they could get in i think we right. have to i think we have to communicate with them in such a way that they that we get first we get their attention and two mm. we get them to imagine that indeed it's their problem. Right. Because, yes. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, it, it can be done. Sure. Right. Yeah. It doesn't do it. Yeah, well, I mean, it can it can be done. The other the other thing, what's 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 tough is one of the things things that you you said or, 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 or earlier. You know, folks don't think it's going to have happen to them, so yes. it's hard without beating someone over, over the head to, you know, to get, to convince, convince them to do things that are good, that are for their own, their own safety and protection. I mean, that, and, and by, by saying that, I don't mean we don't try. I, I think you got, you got a couple of good, good idea, ideas here that I wrote, 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 wrote down that, yeah, we, we need, we need to find ways to get that me me message out. And, you know, cause it's really about, it goes back to what I had said. What what we're we're about is take, take taking care of folks, and for me, it's it means we you know we take care of each, 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 each other, and that's what we do. So I can help you with some public service ads. And well, actually, <laughs> Christina has her hand up. But before we go too far, I've actually been talking to uh, Captain Kennedy about doing some some new yep. PSAs for the fire department. So yep. that is actually on my radar to do something targeting seniors. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
So spoiler alert, I want to make that happen. And he's been fantastic. I've, I've got your whole catalog of PSAs in my office. Yeah. You know, and one of, one of the keys there is that, you know, the boss support support supports that stuff, yeah. you know, and I'm, and I'm, 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 I'm willing to spend other people's money uh, to, <laughs> to get it done. So, but yeah, no, really. I mean, that's, I mean, you got to, you got to believe, 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 believe in that, in that, in that, in that, in that kind, 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 kind of thing in, in order to get it done. So, and, uh, as, as, as he, he, he said, Captain Kennedy is one, one of my guys at one of my really good guys at that, that type, 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 type of thing. So we'll, you know, we'll, we'll get get it done. But again, again, it's a whole communication piece. We need to know what is the best way to get that message out. So maybe we can keep Ooh, hold on Christina's had her hand up well here's the thing we have two people on this committee that are on Amherst neighbors that's definitely a group that you can get the information out to okay. um you can put a flyers in the Amherst bulletin mm -hmm. because people like the Amherst bulletin okay. and they look forward to getting it um you can use the senior citizen newsletter. Mm -hmm. And as Haley said, she's going to have some, it looks, sounds like it's going to be info sessions to alert people about what's available in the event of an emergency. And I'm assuming that if it's a, a state emergency, that the governor will call a state emergency and give people instructions. And they will send the, uh, the uh, reservists to help the towns out that need it the most uh, based on priority, as you stated. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what we're talking about is if something happens locally, because if it happens statewide, that response system is already in place and other people are in charge of it. And then they will communicate with you as a town <coughs> official about how to proceed but we're talking about basically getting the word out. And the, sure. those are, the, those are the, the places that I think it mm -hmm. would be important to reach this population. Okay. You, can, well, you well. can also use the, uh, the Meals on Wheels folks. Drop off a meal, drop off a flyer. It doesn't mm -hmm. even have to be a flyer. It could be like a, a cardboard that says, put this on your refrigerator. This is what you would do if there was an emergency. Sure. No, I mean, those are all great ideas, you know, and the key is getting the word word out and how you get to get, get the word out in such a way that it's effective, that it's efficient, but more and more so effective. So, but no, this is, this, this is good stuff. As I said, probably now is the third, 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 third or four, fourth time. If I don't know it, I can't fix it, so. Are there any final questions or comments? Because we want to be respectful of the chief's time and also. I've got. To, I've. I've time got, got time. I've. I've got time. I've got. Uh, I. I have time. I. I. I love. Love to do, do, do doing this kind of. I. I said this at Haley. Haley, I prefer to do this in person. You know. I'd rather. You know. So, but uh, no. This is. I like do, do, doing this. So. Well, we'll have you back for sure. Okay. So, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, but ask me whatever, and uh, I've got as much, as much time as you need, need me for. Thank you. No, no, thank, thank you, geez. Thank you, yeah. Tim. No, no, thank, thanks a lot. And I just, just want, want, want to say, you know, I'm, you know, there's, there, there's me, but I've got a whole ton, ton, ton of folk, folks here who, have dedicated, dedicated their lives and careers to taking care of all of you. All right, that's what we do. This is, I've, I've always said, I've said, said for years and, and, and even more, more so now, this is a, there's no other, other job where, where, where folks will invite, invite complete strange, strange, strange strangers into their homes and ask them to fix it. They will, folks will entrust us, folks that they've never met, met, met before, but they will entrust trust us with their most precious possessions, which is most of the time it's a family member. 
And there's nothing in the world like, like that where you have the opportunity to be the best part of some, 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 someone's day and fix it. And that's special. And these folks here are special. What we do is important. Important. There's nothing like it in 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 the world. I have said since my first day on the job that this is the best job in the world because we get to take care of people. And that's You're our what, heroes. What, what we do. <laughs> yeah, we're, 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 we're okay. We're grateful we're, you we're, will we're, do we're, that. We're, mm-hmm. we're, we're, we're 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 okay, and I and I appreciate appreciate that. But I always I always want I always remind remind our folks that what we do is special is special, and it means a lot to people. Even you know we have all all these great we have all all this great great equipment training training bells and whistles and all and all that, but some sometimes you know we do we we'll, we'll go on calls where we know that you know there's really not 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 the emergency. But just you know, some someone wants to talk 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 to some some somebody, and I've, I mean, since my first first day here here as chief, I said, take the time. It, it, it's okay, you know, because again, we might be the best part of some some someone's day. So you got to you got to take take that to heart every time you go out the door. So that just means a lot. It means a lot a lot to me. It means a lot a lot to the these folks, and you all mean a lot to us. So, but that's that's it. That's 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 all I've got. So thank you very much. Thank All right. you. Take, thank take you. care. We'll see you, see you soon. Be good. Bye. What a nice guy. <laughs> he gave us lots to think about. I think there's lots of things we can do as a council and senior center to help support and spread the word and yeah. educate seniors. So that was awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Tim is great. Yeah, and I think it points to the critical importance of partnering. Mm -hmm. Um, There's an African proverb that says three heads are better than one. And when even organizationally speaking, when we speak through the voice of one, uh, we're missing something. And when we speak through the heads of the partners, you pick up all those ideas. Very true and very good. <clears throat> One quick question that I've got. I, I don't know if anybody's got the answer to it. Maybe Tim did. I don't know. Um, is there a preferred radio station that oh, I don't know. The, the town communicates with in cases of emergencies? Because the school, the school uses two or three for the snow. Oh, okay, good. Uh, uh, what, what, which is that? The, two or know, three different radio that, stations, but I don't know which ones they are, though. I think one is HMP. It's been oh, a while yeah. since kids were in yeah. school, so I. Um, but we could certainly research that and maybe list that in a future yeah. newsletter, Haley. I think yeah. so because, in the event of of a really legit power outage, and an awful lot of the people that uh, Jacqueline was talking about may not be all that digitally conversant and that kind of information might at least empower many of them and encourage many of those folks, I am one of them, to always have a battery powered radio in the house, Mm -hmm. which it's out on the deck in the summertime, but if my power goes out in the middle of January, it comes out. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's probably a good thing to happen. Maybe the information about those radio stations uh, we could also distribute uh, and uh, just to reinforce uh, uh, and, uh, so that we'll get the information out because we got some really nice information today about about the yeah. high school, which I yes. thought was great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I, I, communication is key. And to keep it as rudimentary as possible in the event of an emergency is yeah. Yeah. probably a good thing to do. Yes. No. I have a, did you do that? Please be sure that you use the call numbers of the station rather mm. than okay. WH whatever because yeah. nobody yeah. knows what number to two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's so right. Thank you for that. 
Thank you. Very true. Very true. Thank you. And a 9.5 or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have five minutes left. So yes. I am wondering, Haley, do you want to wrap up your update or should we jump right to the approval of minutes? Um, well, I'll just really quick highlight the fact that uh, the Mass Councils on Aging is offering a grant opportunity called the Service Incentive Grant. Um, applications are due at the end of this month and um, Councils on Aging can request up to $8,000 for programs that are either related to community outreach or respite services for caregivers. And I certainly intend to apply for some funding for outreach. You know, we've been talking a lot about how do we get the word out about the senior center? Um, you know, how do we get the word out to people in the community who don't know about all the great programs we offer? So I will be applying for funds and hopefully um, they're gonna be awarding 22 grants. So I'm hoping that we can be one of the 22. Awesome. Great. Great. All right. Um, let's take a look at the minutes from the September 22nd meeting. Hopefully everybody's had a chance to review them. Are there any changes that need to be or edits that need to be made? I take that as a no. That's a no. <laughs> I'm quick on the uptake. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can we have a roll call vote on, or not roll call, but vote on the accepting of the minutes? Move, move All that in we favor, accept say that aye. month's minutes. Second. I, I move that we accept that month's minutes. Second. Third. There we go. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> Okay, splendid. September minutes are approved. Okay, <coughs> October. Chad, would you like to propose we accept October minutes? Didn't we just do that? We did no, September. 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 Uh -huh. We had two months. Okay. Would somebody like I to propose, propose that we accept the, the October minutes. I move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Awesome. October minutes are approved. Okay. Now, do we have Dick? Yorga, don't see him. I don't believe he's here. The audience. Um, if any, I can give one update on the friends. If anybody knows someone with an accounting background who is looking to donate their time to be on our board, we would love to have them. Uh, we are in. I don't want to say desperate, but we're in a really critical need for somebody who can help act as treasurer of the Friends of the Amherst Senior Center. Um, our current treasurer is probably in the process of moving cross country. It's not going to be feasible for her to keep up her responsibilities. Um, and so we really need to get someone in who can help uh, with the books. There's also uh, a very similar need on uh, the SALT Council as well. Uh, yes. So whoever would uh, possibly uh, come forward for one, might possibly also be able to come forward with the other, just trying to be lucky here. Yeah. Okay. Okay, all right. I would like to say something about the friends or the um, Amherst neighbors. Mm -hmm. You know, Terry, who used to be at our meetings. Linda Terry. Huh? Linda, Linda Terry. Terry. Does everybody know that she passed away? No. She passed yeah. away a couple yeah. of weeks ago. Yes, I got the notice. Oh, okay. Where'd that? you get the notice from? From the Amherst neighbors. Oh, okay. I met yes. on the Amherst neighbors. I saw it in the paper. I saw it in the paper as well. That's right. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. She died right. at the hospice, but I couldn't I I couldn't just tell people because right. Uh, right, because she's been on our meetings. 
as a guest many times. I just wanted you all to know that she did pass away. Mm. Thank mm. you. Yes. My sympathy to her family. Yeah. yeah. That's a sad note. Um, our next item is topics not reasonably anticipated by the chair 48 hours in advance of meeting. Well, I guess that's me. I don't have any. <laughs> um, excuse me, chair. Mm -hmm. yes. I you can call like, Jean. Okay, Jean. <laughs> At the, uh, our next meeting, I propose that we have a moment of silence in respect of uh, Terry's memory. Yes. When we start the meeting, because she really, she was a worker. She was a worker bee. She worked hard on behalf of the seniors. How do you feel about doing it tonight? Yeah. Before we sign off? Yes. Okay. So Jackie, do you want to lead it for us, please? Jacqueline. <laughs> Jacqueline, I'm sorry. Yes. We lift up our hearts. We lift up our spirits. We lift up our memories for one whose memory will always be with the people whose lives that she has touched. Might her family be consoled and comforted by those memories that they have. And when they need to have a connection with the memory, may they remember to touch base with somebody at the senior center. We lift these prayers up, we lift these thoughts up, and we lift up these memories. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Yep. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you. That amen. was lovely. Sadly, I never knew the woman, but I, I, I didn't either. It's really touched by the, the kindness that you all expressed for her and I, can only imagine how many lives she touched by the good work that she did. Yeah. So thank you all. Yeah. 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 What we know, I mean, she helped resettle an Afghan family with the Jewish community of Amherst. She's been, she's been active in a great many organizations. We're more than active. She's taken on a leadership role and she will be missed. Yes. I didn't know her, but there's that spot just listening to you that touched me. Well, may her life be an inspiration to the rest of us. That's right. We continue to well said. do the good Amen. work. Well yeah. said. Thank you, Jackie. Okay. Um, I think our next meeting is Thursday, December 8th. Um, and at five o'clock and in the meanwhile we will have um, a couple of holidays I hope you all get a chance to enjoy time with family and friends and um, hope we all can remember to honor our veterans this yes. weekend that served us so honorably yes any final questions or comments? I really enjoyed the fire chief. He had so much knowledge. That Did a good job. Never, yeah. never knew. Yeah. You know. Thank yeah. you for bringing him on. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Yeah. We'll have to have him again. Thank you. Yes, we yeah. will. He definitely is a wealth of information. Yeah. yeah. And he's got a lot of good jokes. Yes, and he's passionate about his work. Yeah. As my grandfather and my uncle were a fireman, so I know how important mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. Well, they do risk their lives every day, and they thank do. God for yep. 
Yeah. Yeah. I have family members who are firefighters. Yeah. See you all next month. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Take care. Bye. Take care, everyone. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.